they find something to distract them from the pain and trauma of being homeless and without a family of their own. <laughs> Most of these old women are like sisters now. They spend their day praying at the St. Mary's home for the elderly in Sagana, Moranga County. But not for Jacinta Njeri. Six decades later, her tears have never dried. Her pain still the same and her hope is that one day she will be healed. This was her state when we visited the home a week ago. Mungu, Mungu anakuona. Ah. A basic home under the management of the Catholic Church Consolata Missionaries where she found solace 17 years ago. This did not take away the pain and shame of living with fistula. Monday, a week later, a visit by Inoro FM presenters, one of the radio stations under the Royal Media Umbrella, broadcasting in the Gikoyu language, Takes us back to a period she would rather not talk about. Born in 1924, she got married as a young girl, gave birth to a first child, but the baby died hours later. Her husband was by her side. When she turned 27 years old, in 1952, she gave a second try to motherhood. It was to change her life forever. A prolonged labor which lasted three agonizing days at home. She was later taken to a hospital ran by the colonial government. It was too late. The damage had already been done. I was told to go to theater again. Everything went wrong. The baby was dead by then. I lost everything. As fate to David, she lost her uterus during the surgery. She was now living with the shame of fistula. So fistula is a serious birth complication which occurs during delivery when labor is prolonged, when labor takes a long time, like uh, days, three, five days before delivery occurs. So what happens is that all develops between the blood and the birth canal and through this all urine leaks all the time or sometimes this all can develop uh, in the rectal system. It's, it's a, a pity that she had been living in that condition for those years. It had been very difficult. Hata kama mama yako ni mzee, usitupe kuwe muna wangaria sawa sawa. Hata kama ana macho, ama ana migu, ama ni mugonjo. Haritore haithe na remu ana, na remu yomu deru. 63 years later, that help has come her way. After her plight was highlighted on the Your Story segment on Citizen TV, Jacinta and her friend started their journey to what could be the beginning of a new life. Her journey to the Kenya International Hospital in Nairobi, where a fistula camp is being carried out. In a campaign dubbed End Fistula, spearheaded by the Royal Media Services, Kenya International Hospital, the Flying Doctors of Africa, and Freedom from Fistula Foundation. The main thing for a woman like that is to reassure her and to show her love, you know, that really for a person to live with this condition for 60 years, she must be an unusual person. Because most of them, they either commit suicide or they do things which, so that they don't live. And look at her, she's there. So she must be a very special woman. And you know, many women, the ones we see here, are very special because that is not um, a simple thing to live with, a simple condition to live with. It is devastating. Following the campaign at the Fistula Screening Center at Kenya International Hospital, the number of women increasing by the hour, a team of six doctors ready to restore their dignity. We have been able to screen 700 patients so far, uh, or rather mothers, and out of those, 136 have been admitted and uh, 65 have been repaired. 
the number is put at 100,000 women as a backlog in Kenya and 1,000 new cases every year. But that, that may change soon because there is a study that has been commissioned. As Royal Media Services, this has given us so much joy to be able to use our platforms across radio and TV to educate and inform the public on such a sensitive you know, condition that affects them directly. So we really want to continue to do this. Every year, the campaign sees 350 women undergo surgery. 90-year-old Jacinta Njeri could be one of them. She has to be screened first. Judy Kosge for The Big Question.